A packed house here at practice today as Florida State continues preparations for Auburn here on this Friday afternoon alongside Lane Hurt. I'm Scott Kodak. Welcome outside to the practice fields here in Costa Mesa, California. Earlier today, Lane, we heard a lot from Auburn's defense. They frankly think they're the best defense that Florida State will have seen all year. Whether that's true or false, you got to like their confidence at least. Absolutely. They're a group that came in very confident. They, they played in the SEC. The SEC has this great big reputation, and they feel like that Florida State has not seen a defense like theirs this year. That's exactly what a couple of their guys said, and they absolutely believe that they can come in and I don't. they didn't say shut down Florida State's offense, but they think they can slow them down and create some problems for, for the Seminole offense. The one thing a lot of guys said was especially that front four was going to cause Florida State a lot of issues. Take a listen to what Ellis Johnson, Auburn's defensive coordinator, who's been around the game a long, long time, had to say about the key to stopping Florida State. What the key is going to be is can we get pressure? And we need to get pressure with four. We need to get pressure with pressure. Uh, so it's, it's going to be a big factor. You know, the, the play in the box. I mean, they have tremendous skill out on the edges. But the pressure in the box is probably going to be one of the biggest keys to any defensive success we have. Whether Auburn is right or wrong about packing the box, and we'll see if that plays out on Monday night, still the biggest game for both of these two teams in quite some time. For Florida State, the biggest game since the national title game in the Orange Bowl. And for Auburn, that national championship they beat Oregon. And none other more excited than Jameis Winston, obviously, especially in today's media session. Absolutely. Jameis got really passionate about that question. He said he hasn't won a championship since middle school, and he really got fired up. Uh, we're going to show you this a complete soundbite. He was just really excited for for this game. Me personally, I ain't have a, I had a real championship since middle school. So that this game means so much to me. And like we got people like Tevin, we like Tevin won a lot of championships in high school, but this is still the most important game to him in his life. I mean, when you got the opportunity to play in a national championship game and your your team is the only team on television, and then this game on my birthday, we're not going out there to just play around. We're not going out there to take anybody for granted. We're going out there to play a great game. We're going out there to do what we came here to do every single day, 13 games. This, I mean, it's not over yet. We got a 14th one, and I mean, why not? Why not end this in this year with a victory? Auburn's defense is ranked number 88 in the country in total defense. While the numbers might not exactly be stellar, might not jump off the page or you're off the screen here in our case to you, there's still a defense that's been around the block. They played Alabama. Amari Cooper, maybe one of the best wide receivers in the nation for, for the Crimson Tide. They played guys like Odell Beckham Jr. at LSU. They've seen good guys, especially on the edges. Well, for Florida State, Kelvin Benjamin, Rashad Green, and Kenny Shaw, bar none, are the best trio that Auburn's seen all year. Absolutely, but they did get a great preparation for that from Missouri, led by Doriel Green Beckham. And then that is quite a big, powerful receiving group that they got to see in person. So they had that, and you, you're right. I mean, they've seen a lot of great teams, a lot of great quarterbacks. I don't think they're going to be phased by, by facing Florida State's offense. The one thing, too, that really not a lot of people are talking about is Florida State's run game. So much yesterday on Thursday was based off of how good Trey Mason is, Nick Marshall running that read option. For Florida State, we got to talk to Devontae Freeman today, and he was asked, well, would you rather have a 1,000 yards or a national championship? I'm not going to spoil it for you, but he doesn't have a national championship, of course. How much pride has Florida State taken? They've heard about Auburn all yeah. week. If they can run the ball, they're going to win the national championship. Absolutely, Scott. I think Florida State takes a lot of pride in that running game. I don't think they wanted to come out and say it because I think it's part of kind of a secret weapon with how good the receivers have been. But uh, believe me, Devontae Freeman wants that 1,000-yard season. It would be very special, and the offensive line wants it too because it might even mean more to the offensive line blocking for that guy all season long. Of course, the leader of the offensive line is redshirt senior Brian Stork, known for having that red beard. Also, Nick O'Leary and that guy Red Lightning as well. But take a listen to what Brian Stork had to say about growing out the beard and kind of why the beard in 2013. I look like a 12-year-old kid when I shave mine, so uh, I'm going to keep it. But uh, they just kind of happen. The trick is, and you know what the trick is, right? To grow a beard, you don't shave it. <laughs> but you, just, you know, <laughs> yeah. I mean, the beard's a beard, and uh, I mean, it's just consistency. You gotta have discipline to do this. <laughs> Of course, everything leading up to Monday night's national championship game. Great content right now on Seminoles.com. You're going to be hard-pressed to find any better video content that we've got up on the website right now. Lane's got a fantastic feature about Randy Sanders and kind of the calm and cool collected attitude he's brought to that Florida State offense. Also, I've got a breakdown of the Florida State offense versus that Auburn defense. Make sure you stay with us on throughout the rest of the weekend. It's sure to be a great game on Monday night. We'll have one more practice on Saturday afternoon. We'll see you then. Saturday afternoon, we'll see you then.